Hi, I'm Joanna, and I have the intention to develop this series of videos for far too long already. And it's time now to stop hesitating because every day I work in the streets, at the grocery store, in the restaurants, and especially at home. I can see how slowly we are improving our lifestyles towards protecting our planet versus how fast the technology is taking over our life. Like many people, I, fa I have gotten too comfortable living in a developed country. I let myself be trapped in my individual lives and as I call selfish, routinous living. As an environmental conscious person, my consciousness is always telling me that we can do better. My goal is not to convince any of you that Climate change is a scientifically proven fact. Actually, we can no longer debate whether climate change is real or not. Likewise, the question whether uh, human activities is the main contributor to climate change has been answered already years ago with facts and scientific research. So what is my goal with this series of videos? It is a single but powerful word, educate. And no, this is not about lecturing anyone um, with scientific terms, overwhelming data, or complex statistics. Instead, it's about presenting the information in a simple way that we can all feel empowered, engaged, and motivated to make changes just small changes in our daily activities. A small changes that in some will have a lasting worldwide positive impact that will carry through generations in our families and our friends and their families and their friends and you know, you get the big picture. It's I made my husband a very traditional and close-minded person to change his lifestyles through this series of videos, my goal will be achieved. We all have heard many people talking through demonstrations, protests, events, and especially social media about global warming, climate change, greenhouse gas emissions, pollution, burning fossil fuels, carbon footprints, fracking, renewable energy, next zero, droughts and floods, ice cut melting, sea levels raising, ocean acidification, overpopulation, deforestation, endangered species, reduce, reduce and recycle, zero waste, electricity and water consumption, energy efficiency, green buildings, fluorescent lights and LEDs, hybrid and electric cars, vans for plastic bags, straw and styrofoam, local and organic products, consuming less meat, etc. and etc. Some of those talks has been going on for years now and some others are more recent. But the real question is, how much of those environmental issues are addressed in schools? The answer to that question is frustrating and disappointing because very little information is provided in primary and higher education levels. And some environmental related topics are not addressed at all. Some of you may be saying that I'm ignorant or misinformed. However, I was born in Venezuela, a developing country in South America. I obtained my bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. Then I moved to the United States in 2002, where I obtained my master's degree in civil engineering with environmental concentration. I used to work as an environmental consultant, and now I'm currently working as an environmental protection specialist. I have three children, one, one of them graduate in college, the second one is in university at this time, 
and the last one is in high school in the United States. And I believe that it wasn't for me. None of my kids, including my husband, will have any interest for any environmental issue. Environmental issues has such a strong impact in our life. Then the following question is, why aren't they included in the school curriculum as mandatory education? And the answer to this question is no unique, it's different depending on the area where you live. However, all those answers have in common that they're equally disappointing and frustrating. My first takeaway from this introductory video is that all environmental issues are interconnected. And that is why we can enormously contribute to protecting our planet by making small changes in our lifestyle. Not only environmental issues are interconnected, they're also related to human rights, which is another wide field that is overlooked in the school curriculum. This is all for now. Thanks for watching and get ready for my next video. We burn fossil fuel all the time. How?